Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. I was working on a project and I thought, you know what? I should probably film this. So here I am. <laughs> it's late at night. I just got done working out. I'm watching a um, Amazon Prime show or series. It is this one right here. And girls, so far it is good. It is so good. But anyways, I wanted to make a North Pole sign outside decor sign um and i was with honey and we were at menards for getting other things and i i wanted to go and look for staircase spindles well girl they are like fifty dollars and for fifty dollars i can buy a sign that lights up on its own so i thought no i gotta find a better way and a cheaper way to do this and of course honey was along with me and he's like you know what i'd actually want to for each side of our stairwells that an enter into the home. So I ended up with two, <laughs> but this is what I settled on. So these are really big square dowel, dowel rods that I picked up at Menards. They were like maybe eight something a piece. Um, and then I found these finial caps in their fencing section. So this is gonna go up here and then I'm gonna tape this off and we're gonna paint them like a candy cane stripe. My intentions was a North Pole um, sign decor that says North Pole. However, and I got the, I was inspired by um, unicorn dust designs. However, I think I might want one of them to say Mary and the other one to say Christmas or I don't know yet. Okay. But I thought I'd bring you along. So yes, I already have them halfway painted. They do need another coat. I think I'm going to paint these tops red. Um, but I got to paint and I thought I'd bring you along. So I'll just bring you along in the process. What do you think? Here we go. Wish me luck. All right, y'all. I got the finial caps painted red, waiting on them to dry. Now I'm going to tape these babies off. I'm getting excited. I, I love this so far. I'm loving the white and red. Oh my. Okay. I'm gonna go tape them. All right, guys, so I'm all taped up. You know, I gotta be honest, it was super easy. As long as you hold the tape at an angle, it's really easy to do. And then I just made sure that the tape laid straight. So now I get to go paint, yay. Okay, guys, next day, had Honey go out to the garage and cut me a six inch piece and an eight inch piece and some scrap of plywood that I had in the garage. Um, and I'm gonna get to sanding and painting these guys. These will be my base. And then with that leftover plywood, I had them cut me two of these slits here so I can do my wording on them. But yeah, just wanted to show you what I'm gonna use for my base. So far, I only have about, mm, I'd say about $13 per post. So not bad on price at all, but, and I get to do a fun project for the outdoors, so. Okay, I'm gonna get to sanding and painting. I have my stands glued together, um, snacking on some pretzels and hummus, watching my Amazon show, and getting ready to take this tape off here um, and see how my candy cane wood looks. I'm hoping it turned out great. I got me another Alani New going here. This stuff is delicious, so 10 calories, no sugar, all natural. And the crash, there is no crash. So absolutely love this flavor. But anyways, I'm so excited to take my tape off and see how they look. Let these guys dry and then we'll assemble and figure out what I'm going to put on there as far as North Pole or Merry Christmas or, you know, whatever I'm going to do. So yeah, just got the tape off, you guys. And oh my gosh, it looks so good. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to put it together. They look phenomenal. Yay. Crafty friends, they're assembled. Oh my goodness, they look so good. <laughs> I couldn't be any happier. Okay, time to make Merry Christmas. I don't know if we should do green and white lettering. Lettering, I'm not sure. What do you think? Oh, I wish I could hear in real time. They look so good. Okay, all right, next step. I decided to use the arrows from Dollar Tree. I gave them a really good coat and I'm gonna do another coat. 
uh, the Waverly Chalk Paint and Fern. Um, and then on my Cricut, I went ahead and cut out Merry Christmas and stencil vining, vinyl. So we'll put these on there and I will stencil in Merry Christmas with white. And I think they're gonna look fabulous, but that's what I decided to use for um, the sign. I was gonna, like I said, it was gonna be North Pole, but then, you know, obviously honey changed my mind, so. But I will come back when I'm ready to show you the Merry Christmas. Okay guys, I got my Merry Christmas on my arrows. This was the first time I've used Aura Mask 813 Stencil Vinyl. I have it on here. Um, I ordered this off of Amazon after Unicorn Dust Design told me about it. And I gotta tell you, it's really good stencil vinyl. Now this is for those two arrows over there, but I want to show you how awesome it turned out and now it's just time to apply okay you guys here's the final product ah, i just love the way that they turned out they turned out absolutely stunning i would say i probably have about 15 dollars per poll maybe not even that much so the poles i think were about seven to eight dollars we have the dollar tree arrows the finial caps were maybe two to three dollars scrap wood for the bases the lights were a dollar so not too expensive at all and i love that i got to put my spin on it um i think they're absolutely gorgeous now i did have a hard time with the sealant and the lights so the sealant i went to lowe's and i had a hard time finding polyurethane and this lady talked me into a water sealant for wood but it made my paint bleed so i was like uh no we're not doing that so i took that back and then with the lights i tried led lights i tried a 50 count light i tried red and white lights and i ended up settling on the 20 strand uh 20 count white strand warm lights and they are perfect y'all so they were they actually are a little bit too short but there is no light count between 20 to 50 and 50 was too much so if you decide to recreate this project there i did the light work for you because that was like tough i'm telling you what i'm gonna have to make a trip back to walmart and take a bag of lights back because <laughs> girl i'm getting my money back i mean all that it was insane. So Honey helped me with getting the lights attached and we just used the staple gun. So we put staples all down just to hold them in place where I wanted them and put them on the back side so that they're not noticeable. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the basement lights here so you can see the glow. <gasps> you guys, ah, I love them. I cannot wait to pull into my driveway with my Christmas lights up, seeing these on my front porch, knowing that I handmade them. They make my heart so happy. I think they're absolutely adorable, but I want to hear from you. What do you think? Let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching this project process, I guess you would say. Um, and I appreciate each and every one of you. Until next time, you guys, I will talk at you later. Bye-bye now.